Hello guys, I'm back finally, <laughs> and I've come up with a new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I will be um, making a little room for you guys, where you just look around. Uh, so far, there's only a roof and walls, or no, not even walls, uh, just floor. Um, and so, uh, I know, I'll just be making it as you watch. Um, I've sped it up a little bit, and I will now explain um, how I'm doing it. So, well, first things I'm doing here is I'm just adding backgrounds. I'm um, making them 512 by 512, uh, just because I like that size. So, made the object, named it, named the, got the room, named it, now I'm making it the uh, right size. Uh, background, stuff like that. I'm also wanting you to start in full screen mode, I just kind of like to start that stuff out, just so that it feels like a game right away. So, gotta stick the object in the room. Now we can get to coding. So creation event of our main object. I'm going to put D3D start, the code that you have to use to start 3D. And I'm going to set uh, the X and Y variable. You don't have to do this, um, but I like to set him in the middle of the room. And then Z, uh, well that equals 50, which is where I'm going to, in the middle between my floor and my roof. X2, Y2, and Z2 is where the camera is going to be looking. So what, you set, what I set it to now doesn't really matter because I'll be changing it later. Also direction. Um, direction will be where the camera is pointing towards, so I'll change that later. So now I'm going to quickly allow myself to um, move around, um, adding by some simple code. So if keyboard check up, then I'm going to want speed to equal two, um, because uh, so it's just, and then I'll be moving towards my direction. That is the main way to do it. I could um make myself go right and left, but that's a little bit complicated now, so I'm just going to skip that, not do that for this video. Um, direction, so now I'm going to, um, in draw events, I'm going to turn the camera um, via the mouse, so I display mouse, get X is how I do that, now it'll, this will um, say how far it is away from zero, so I'm going to have to do minus display get width, um, which would be right in the middle of the said screen which is where I'm going to freeze the mouse after I set this. So now I'm going to do the same with Z2, which is, of course, the direction of um, my Z. So I'm going to use Y, and then height. And now uh, the divided by at the end is because it uh, moves it a bit too fast, so I divided by it, and that makes it um, a little bit more of a smooth um, reaction there. So now I freeze the mouth, um, display get width, and display get height. So, there we go. Now, I have to set the X2 again. So, um, I'm just going to configure it on my direction. And um, the Z2 on... Well, I'm not going to leave it. Z2, I already did that. So, I'm just going to use length dir X and length dir Y, which um, pretty much just converts um, the direction to points, which is what I'm going to use for our camera. So, now I'm going to set up our camera. So now D3D said projection, as of course, so now X, Y, Z I'm going to start out with, this is where I'm coming from, and of course X2, Y2, and Z2. This is where I'm going to be looking towards, and then 001 at the end, that's just um, standard stuff. You, uh, as long as you leave it at that, you should be fine. So now I'm going to set color. You have to set it to C white, or um, yeah, everything will be black. If you set it to a different color, of course it will be that color, but the default is black, so you're going to want to set it to white before you draw anything. So, D3D draw floor, of course, um, room width, room heights, this will make it just the exact size of my room, and on the floor, which would be zero. So now I'm going to set the texture, background get texture, and then we're going to take the floor texture that we already previously put in there. So floor text. Now we're going to have to set the H repeat and V repeat. Um, I'm going to want it to be a quarter of its actual size on the floor to make it not chunky, so I'm going to do room width divided by 128, which is a quarter of 512. So, now I'm going to add the roof, so all I have to do is change the uh, texture and the height. So, first change the texture and then the height, which I'm going to make to 100. Number 50 is my Z, so I'm going to be exactly between my floor and my roof, making it look pretty easy. So. Uh, I just tested out here. Now see, I get an error here, um, and then variable display get width. This is because I forgot to stick brackets 
um, in front and behind a uh, display gear width and display gear height. So, um, and that works. Now, unfortunately, though, I am looking at the floor, and I do not like looking at the floor. It is bad. So, um, just quickly figure out what my error is here. Uh, what it is, is that display gear width here, um, I didn't divide that by two, so I'm actually working on the other side of the room. So, change that and display good height. So now, should work. So I test it out, but this time it's not, because all I can see is the other corner of the room. I can move a little bit, but I can't see. So, then realize that I need to do X2 and Y2 as to, as to plus X and Y, because um, otherwise I'm just looking at the corner of the room. And that's not very useful. So, here it is. The final game. See you later.